What's up guys, Thinus Lotus here, so I'm playing some Search and Rescue, and I apologize uh, to begin with, actually. Essentially what's been going on is I've been playing so much Diablo 3 that I'm sucking at COD now, so I'm sorry it's not the most spectacular gameplay you guys have ever seen. I go like 6 and 4. Not super, not horrible, fun game. Uh, I'm gonna get back into everything. When I get my Skittles back, I'll be bringing more strategies, those types of things, but uh, Diablo 3's got my attention. But anyway, not the point of the video. The point of the video is actually, if you guys watched one of our funny Diablo 3 video, uh, videos we put out the other day there, we talked, or I was in the really questioning crazy gamer trick as to why people would want a six seven hundred plus pound person to sit and bounce on you now it doesn't take much to break your ribs then it much you know pounds or pressure at least pound for pressure or pressure per pound sorry uh to pop that shit really takes even less to puncture a lung i mean shit a pencil could puncture a lung you know, if you take out all the bones, it, boom. It's not difficult. Our organs are not, like, super iron strong and able to resist so much damage and weight and physical stress that it's amazing. You know, that's why they're protected by everything else. I don't understand why you would want someone that big and heavy to sit and bounce on you. Now, maybe, now, uh, granted, like, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm not one to judge, and that's, if that's your thing that's awesome, I just want to understand it. I can't comprehend. Uh, like, I have a phobia of suffocation. I think most people wouldn't want to suffocate. I enjoy air. Air is everywhere. It's the only thing that's left that's truly free. Breathe it in. You live. There we go. Get squished by 600, 700 pounds. Don't breathe in the air. I mean, maybe that's, like, their way of making you charge for air now. Like, you give $5 to get the fuck off of me. Like, I would pay 100 bucks to get the fuck off of me. I'm just gonna be honest with you. But people do this uh, as something that they enjoy. And I just, I can't, I can't remember my head. It just confuses me. My poor head. I can't wrap it around this. Uh, and there's a lot of things that I can understand, that I can get, that I can comprehend. And this is not one of them. I, I, I don't know. It's crazy. It really is. Now, if you're one of those people who enjoys it, that's good for you, awesome for you, man, that's sweet. But to me, that that's like being crushed by a boulder, or even worse, being bounced on by a boulder. I don't think I would go out into the wilderness and be like, wow, that's a big looking boulder. Well, maybe if I can pick it up, I can bounce it on my chest. Yeah, you know, that's what I want to do. No, I wouldn't think that that's what you wanted to do at all. And I'm having a hard time figuring out and now like so there are a lot of different things that I don't understand and just because I don't understand them doesn't mean I don't accept the fact that people do it and I don't judge that person I'm gonna keep saying that because I don't want anyone to, I don't want my one subscriber who's like I like that to be like you just don't get it man you don't get it dude it's not the it's not the lack of error that's the awesome part it's like yeah you know I'm like I don't understand it's the layers of fat that engulf you in love you know I don't I don't get it I truly don't and I wish so much that I did because it, it legitimately irks my brain. And I, I can't tell you why. Maybe my brain's just funny as to why that's enjoyable. And there's a million things that confuse me uh, in life. There's a million things that could confuse anyone in life. But this specifically, why? Why? If I could shake the mic and you could you could sense that I was so frustrated, I don't understand. And it, it's not even like I'm angry, frustrated. Like, it's funny. It's just funny to me. And, and I just keep questioning myself as to why the fuck you would want to get squashed by someone. That's claustrophobic. That's like asking to die. Uh, all I can never think about when me and Chris were talking was, okay, so I'm going to sit on a bed and you're going to come hop on me all 700 pounds of you. Okay, and then the bed breaks. All right, you are incapable of getting them off of you by yourself. God help you if they have a heart attack on top of you. I'm just, you know, as, as, as they're sitting on you, you know, bouncing around like a kid jumps on a bed. Uh, okay, what? I'm pretty sure they're not the healthiest of people, so, you know, medical problems are sure to arise, and you never know when, and I can just imagine that shit happening, and boom, the bread breaks, and oh, my ankle hurts, and oh, I can't roll over, oh, you know, <laughs> what the fuck, man, it doesn't make sense, I, I just, I, it, it worries me, I, like, I'm worried for people, I don't get it, I don't think furniture was made to have, plus you got, oh, let's say it's a guy and some 800 pound chick, okay, awesome, you're looking at the guys probably anywhere from 100 to 200 pounds, right? Anywhere in between. You add that on, that's like a thousand some pounds you're throwing on a bed. Like, I, I don't think that they make that specific. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally off guard. I'm, I'm totally blown out of the water and I couldn't be more wrong. But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure 
that they normally have a weight limit, and I don't know where you find that weight limit. I'm sure you could ask if you truly wanted to know. Friendly SATCOM active. But the issue here is, is as to why you would take the risk of your life. And maybe it's an adrenaline ju like junkie thing. Like maybe those guys who like always gotta do something and run around. I gotta jump out of a plane today because if I don't jump out of it today, I may not live to tomorrow. I'm gonna regret that I didn't jump out of it today. You know, maybe it's something like that. Maybe you just, they feel the need that they have to go do this. They have to jump out of the plane just to feel that adrenaline once again, just to feel alive, to feel that. In reality, when those adrenaline junk junkies come along, it's normally not because they always like to do stuff. It's essentially because their endorphin levels aren't the same as normal people. So as where we get enjoyment out of just anything, they specifically need those high intensity situations just to feel normal again. And that's why they'll consistently do I'm not saying that all of them are like that. Most of them may not be. But I know that that is a problem that certain ones have. And that's kind of a interesting concept if you think about it. It kind of screws you over in the sense that nothing ever is enjoyable unless there's some severe risk. Well, I found the risk, people. I found it. There it is. You have a 700 pound weight on you in any shape, or form, or, you know, object or person. I'm sorry. At some point, whatever furniture you're on, whatever you are doing, there is going to be a medical issue and you're going to die. I don't know. I, to, to me, it just, it, it boggles my mind. And maybe you guys may not care as much as I do or, or you know, it's just like, well, man, it's fine. To me, it just, it's, I don't know. It's one of those interesting things that I like to figure out in my head. And I find that talking about it out loud, very fast paced, uh, really helps with a couple added voices. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. That normally doesn't help me, but trying to break it down. And figure it out. I mean, it could be adrenaline junkies. I know a lot of people are feeders, like feeder type relationships, which is essentially where you find someone, and you just keep getting them foods and make them bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So when they hit the thousand pound mark, you're like, yeah. I I don't understand. I don't get it. I truly don't. And I wish I did. I do. I, I'm sorry. I've been going on a rant here, but <laughs> I don't know. Would you like that? Would you like to have that? Uh, to be squished and bounced on, I, I feel like if you took a boulder and made it, if you could take the weight of a boulder and make it a, like a big bouncy ball, and you offer that to have this, hey, I'm going I'm to toss this on you, by the way, there's a risk, it could crush you because you may not be able to get it off in time. Do you want to do it? People would probably be like, uh, fuck no, where's the enjoyment? That's what I mean, where is the enjoyment? That, that's like a perfect way to explain it. Wow, way to go, me. That's it. Would you have that bouncy ball bounce on you for no, absolutely no reason? You will get nothing out of it. I don't understand. Now, obviously, they get something out of it. Obviously, you do nothing in this world unless you get something out of it, unless you're doing it for a friend, and then you're doing it just because you want to help that friend. Therefore, you're getting something out of it. We will do nothing in this world unless we get something out of it, for we are greedy people. Uh, and even if we're not being greedy, we get something out of it. You get the appreciation. You always get something. So it's just how it is. And I'm just trying to figure out why. <laughs> like I said, if I could shake the fucking mic and you guys would understand my confused frustration, I'd be one happy camper. But I don't believe that I can. I don't believe you guys would really appreciate me shaking the mic. Let me try. I don't know what that did. I actually feel bad. I feel like that may have been loud. Sorry, guys. Did not mean to shake the mic there. Maybe that was a bad idea. Anyway, guys, if you heard the fucking mic shake, then you know what I'm talking about. It's just insanity. I don't understand. I don't get it. Anyway, <sighs> take a breath there. Goodness gracious. Huh? I mean, I don't get mad at you. Like, it's cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you please hospital, have so. some sort of opinion as yeah, to right? why and where that enjoyability comes from, let me know. I, obviously, I, I've, I've read about this. Yo, I know a lot about what this the fuck we uh, because it frustrates me so much that I'm trying to figure it out. And I actually, I think I've seen some shit on uh, the TV there about this too. That's actually originally where I found out a lot about these terms, hence why I know them. And I don't know, I'm confused. I am confused, guys. I've been beat. You know, I try to think of myself as a pretty intelligent guy, a little bit strategic, you know, pretty strategic and got some strats going and then I get stumped. But anyway, I am out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Our channel is doing awesome. And thanks to you guys. We're working on t-shirt designs and Reaper Call talk show ideas. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.